Okay, the red button's on, huh? Should be. Let's see. There we go. Can you hear me? You could just send me a text real quick. Or yes, yes ma'am. Sure, thank you. And you can see the back screen, right? Correct. Great. And is it recording, right? Correct. Great. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to our leaders call. Leaders of a leaders call for our amazing A1 achievers, April 24th, 2016. I know y'all enjoying this beautiful weather, so I really appreciate you showing up on the call. Is there Anybody celebrating anything special from this past week? What are you celebrating? Anybody? Well, well then, um, you're going to see a lot of the slides I'm going to share did come from the Grow to Win call on Friday because I know, you know, most of you work and it's really hard to get to that call. So I try to bring as much as I can to you. But the next call, um, well, you'll see. Okay. Recognition for campaign eight and nine, Ms. Barbara Bodock, title, I put titles in this time, um, Silver Ambassador with group sales of 1,444 in three editions. That was for campaign eight and the campaign nine. Look where her sales jump. You wonder why sales do that, but they do. You know, sometimes your representatives will really be on or maybe have a great big sale, but her total group sales is right at 2,500 and one edition. We have Lisa Eaton, who is a goal leader with sales in campaign A to 14,879. Her total group additions was 12. And in campaign nine, as of right now, her group sales are $19,024 with 12 total additions. Jamie Alleygood, which is a goal ambassador, sales in campaign eight, 1,511 with two additions. And in campaign nine, she's right at 3,400 with six additions. Veronica Bluen, um, her, I don't list anybody if the team sales are under 1,000. I just list them for over. And in campaign nine, she's right over that mark. She's at 1,189. Julia, with, who with the title is leader, her group sales in campaign eight was 10,174 with nine additions. I really should be giving those, this a round of applause. Great job. Anytime you get these big numbers. Um, it's all great job. Leader in campaign nine, her sales in 9,986, 10 new additions. Great job, great job. Then we have Tina, who is a silver ambassador with uh, group campaign eight. Her team closed out of sales 3,009. And in campaign nine, her group sales are at 1,421. Then we have Arlene Ferguson. Um, she's a silver ambassador out of Texas. Her group sales in campaign eight was 2,400 with three additions. And in campaign nine, she's right at 3,692 with three additions. Then we have Gretchen, who is the silver ambassador and her team sales in campaign eight was 2,671 with one addition. Silver ambassador in campaign nine with sales of 2,176. 66 with four additions. Great additions, ladies. Gina is a goal ambassador for campaign eight with sales of 10,797 with nine additions. And look at the new title she's going to have come Tuesday. That's real exciting. She will be a leader come Tuesday. A group team sales are right at 10,991 with 14 additions. She, um, Genevieve, it was an ambassador for campaign eight, had team sales of 1,476 with three additions. And in campaign nine, she will be a new silver ambassador with sales of $2,073 with three additions. And Sally, goal ambassador, um, sales in campaign eight was 4,936 with five additions. And in campaign nine, she's a goal ambassador with team sales of 4,246 with two additions. And she's, um, we want to definitely give all of you a round of applause. Great, great job. Great ladies. And Sally, I definitely want to give her, um, a little kudos here because she, you know, if you remember from the previous call, she, had achieved goal ambassador, and she did keep that title with the sales all four campaigns. So she did achieve that, what was that, 600? And I don't even have it in front of me, but it was a lot. She got an extra 200 each campaign 
well worth it. Great, great job, ladies. Great job. And well, all right. Congratulations. We have two new promoters. We have Vanessa, um, and we have Lakeed. Congratulations. And that's a guy, Lakeed. So congratulations, team. I can't say just girls or ladies. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations on your way. I wanted to make sure y'all knew of this flyer because if I may have failed to put it on a previous, but I want to make sure that everybody knows when your first re when your recruits come in, they're definitely have the chance to get the 40% as long as they do a total of $100 in award sales, face-to-face -face or e-store sales. But those sales have to be clocked in by the day they put that order in. They ha it has to bill out. It's the first four campaigns. And if they do that, they get this $100 bundle. But some of you, I may have, you may have, I may have missed telling you those, the next four campaigns, their fifth through eighth campaign, if they do $200 in sales, they, they keep getting their sample packs, but they get a, at least one full size product. And that's pretty amazing. They've, I've never seen that before. So that's great. Just want to make sure you've seen this. If you have it, you can pull it up the same place you pulled up um, all the flyers. It's there, okay. And all your new reps that are signing on now since campaign four, they have a copy of this in their box, okay. I also want to make sure that you have this. If you don't, Gina, do you have this? I don't. I don't. I probably never sent this out. This is called the new representative training checklist. You might oh, want to. Oh. Have you yeah. ever seen it? Okay, mm -hmm. I'm going to send it out. You did. No, I have not. It looks nice, though. I'm going to send it out to everybody after the call. And, you know, you might want to create something on uh, a spreadsheet on it where you know each campaign that you've covered. You know, have a master sheet, but just to make sure you've covered those that will allow you to talk with them and, you know, that you've covered everything. Some will, some won't, you know, but we take what whoever is there. We're happy to train whoever will allow us. But this is just a great checklist. And I will send it to you out to you after the call. I may have to still do a little bit updating. I'm going to look at it. But thanks so much. Let's see, Dana. All right, next slide. Always watch your numbers on Downline Manager. Make sure you have more additions than removals. And um, I'm going to have Gene and Sally share something in a minute. But what you do now and over the summer is going to determine what your Christmas checks will be. My manager would always tell me that, and I never quite understood it, but I get it now. It takes me a little while sometimes, but you know, whatever you're doing now, whatever work you're doing over the summer, that's going to determine your fourth quarter check. So how much money do you want? Wouldn't it be great for your Avon to pay for all of your Christmas and more? It can. Okay, so Gina, I'll let you go first. Do you want to share the screen? Um, I don't think I have that skill set and I don't want to take up too much of your time. So um, I'll just tell everyone where this it can be found on Downline Manager about that. Yes, thanks. And um, I do have a printout of mine here. Um, this is a report that I just noticed on Downline Manager today. It doesn't mean that it hasn't been out there for a while. It just means that I just noticed it today. It's, um, it's on Downline Manager under the Static Reports and then under Leadership Tracking. And it's called Business Review Reports for Sales Leaders. I want to say we've had something like this out there at the first of the year, but then I, it went away at the close of Campaign 5. I really, really like this, y'all. It, uh, it shows you uh, what's going on in your leadership business. It tells me um, it's broken down exactly what my um, earnings were as of right now in campaign eight for my first generation, my second, and my third. And then it, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't think of the word, but anyway, it breaks it down and shows me what I could be making if I was a leader, which... Actually, I will be Tuesday, um, a silver leader and a gold leader, which uh, I don't know about y'all, but I like seeing those, uh, those larger numbers. Really? <laughs> yeah. But I, I just like this because, you know, I like figures and it's got it all broken down first, second, and third generation, and then silver, uh, I mean, leader, silver leader and gold leader. And then more importantly, it tells you what's going on with your team. 
If you uh, flip through the, the third and the fourth pages, it shows you uh, how many leaders you have on your team and what their level is and what they need to advance to the next level. And um, that's what it's all about, advancing your team members to the next level. So um, that was it. I just wanted to let y'all know if you weren't aware of it. Uh, it made me pretty happy to uh, I appreciate that, though, because there's so many things that come in and out on, on Down on Magic, and you, it has a lot there. So you yes. said to go on to statistic reports and leadership. Uh, yes, it's at static reports over on the right-hand side of the of downline manager, a little bit down. Then under that, it's leadership tracking and uh, business review reports for sales leaders. It's a mouthful, but it's there. I have to see if I've looked at it. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. My pleasure. Thank you. And I asked Sally just to kind of share with y'all how she works her leads and uh, how she, you know, I know she has shared some before. But I still feel like we need to hear a little bit more on just how she works her leads and how she never gives up and how she turns them over. Okay, you're on. Okay, hey guys. Um, I tell you, working the leads has been a learning experience, but I think the things that I can bring forward the most for everyone in the group to learn from was really, I think it was a school of hard knocks for me. Being persistent but not being a pest is so important because I believe the message that you carry forward is either going to keep somebody on the hook while you slowly reel them in or they're going to take, take a turn in a different direction and you're not going to get them at all. Um, I think that you should remember always don't give up. Just like once we have somebody who has joined the team and they're having that low point and you're really working with them and saying, listen, you got this, don't give up. I found that my, me telling myself that, don't give up on this one because that next call might be the call that they say, you know, I've been so busy, but now. Whoa. And I've been able to sign up people that I have been working since November mm -hmm. in the last probably three and four weeks. And I really, you know, you really want to say there's just no way they're still interested, but not giving up on these people, it's, it's timing is everything. And I believe when we, when we reach them and approach them in the right manner, the timing, if it is right and they are interested, they will say that. Now, I will also tell you one of the secrets that I've learned, I believe that is very helpful to me is when I'm speaking. lead I listen intently to be able to identify something with them and, and let me give you some examples um, one of the people that I spoke with today I actually it sounds like I had talked to either her partner or husband like four times before and I could never get her on the phone and there was part of me that thought oh and maybe this is one of those people that I'm just never gonna be able to get to her because he's putting that wall up for me but I just kept trying and Today she came on the phone and she said, oh, I'm, I'm really busy because I'm in missions and I'm cooking for a bunch of people that's coming from the church to my home tonight. And immediately I, I said, well, I understand how that is because it is Sunday and I went to church this, myself this morning and I get that and I understand. I said, I tell you what, I'm going to let you get off the phone because I know it's real important for you to have everything ready for when your guests come over. And I just ended with something personal to me about my faith that was able to connect that I knew that she was a faithful person. And she was, I, I just could tell, so excited about hearing from me, me not keeping her on the phone long, but letting her know that I'm going to follow up with her in the next two days. And, um, I think that that's real helpful to people that you can connect with them. Um, some other examples I can tell you, um, I had somebody who I didn't know was sick, but her friend told me, oh, she's in the hospital right now. Um, I said, well, you know what? Please let her know that I was not aware she was in the hospital or I would not have called at this time, but I'm gonna give her some time so when she gets out tomorrow, let her know I'm going to give her about a week and a half and I'm going to give her a call back. And that way she'll have some downtime to kind of recuperate until, um, and hopefully she'll be ready for me when I call. And um, just let her know that I called. And, it's, and I have 
you know, maybe I ought to just send her like a little thank you. I hope you're feeling better card. And it's just making that personal connection sometimes that I think does make a difference. Um, Cause you know, you leave messages with people, they get to know your voice. And I think that that is very helpful. But remember being efficient, effective, time management on your side is also important to them. So being brief, and um, I think that that has really been beneficial to me and able to turning things over. I've had some people say, listen, it's a really bad time for me now. And I say, I get it. I can hear the kids in the background. I know what it's like to you know, have kids. I have children of my own that are all grown now, but I know what that's like. And how, what's a good time for you? You, you know, are you running right now? You want me to give you a week, two weeks? And one of me said, can you give me a month? I'm just getting through all these Easter holidays. And I said, absolutely. I will be happy to call you back in a month. So it's really working with people, I think, has been helpful to me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you both, ladies. Really appreciate it. Um, great job. Very encouraging. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay. Whoops. Advanced Leader Academy, real quickly, it started, what, I think two weeks ago. And, you know, they're now doing... They review a chapter. Well, they go over a chapter, then they review it the following week. So I find you have a lot more time to really get through it. I'm definitely doing it now. And if you've had the opportunity to start it and maybe haven't finished, definitely jump on because you definitely, it's, it's a lot more spaced out. But I love that they do, you know, giving you this time. And if you go through this book and really work this, you can, re you can be unstoppable. It could be life changing. I love everything that I'm learning. And I've done a lot of coach training before, but it's really put together well. So, and I can't wait to nominate. I don't know when, but once I, once you get to, is an ambassador? Yeah, ambassador, I can nominate you. So I'll be looking to see who I can nominate next. Okay, so next slide. Um, just really quick, a lot of these next slides did come from the call on Friday. Our four fundamental pillars of a plan. When, we, when we're planning, and this also goes with the coaching, you have to have a vision. Where do you see your team? Where do you see your business going? You know, and I will share, after doing this first chapter, I now see that my, our team will reach goal executive. It may take two years, but we will definitely get to goal executive. And before that, I think I was just stopping at silver. And no, now I definitely, I definitely can see gold ambassador. And um, platinum, well, platinum will take a little bit longer, but hey, by the time I get there, it'll probably change and it'll be even easier. But you have to have a vision, a clear vision. You have to have the, your purpose. Why are you doing this? What is it going to do for your family? And I always said my purpose was to encourage people to dream and encourage those that have given up on their dreams to, to go back after their dreams. And also, part, you know, my purpose is, and I didn't realize this till recently, you know, was when I got my husband out of the chemical field. And we budgeted everything, but now that medical insurance is climbing so much, I said, you know, I, I have the opportunity with this business to make a lot more income. So, um, and you know, what are your values? What are the principles that you work with? Identif identify your vision, your purpose, your core values and guiding principles by which you operate. And when you're making your plans, who's going to, who's going to help you get there? When, how, why, and what? Using smart measurements. Um, you might want to do a 90 day review. If you've never done one, create or update your dream page. I, I think I shared on our team call last week, you know, a, a dream, and I want to do my own, you take a half a poster board, take a bunch of magazines and cut out a bunch of pictures and words of, and make yourself a dream board or your dream page if you want to do it on the computer. But you have to have your dreams in front of you and revisit or create your invitation list and a concrete list. I know for the years when I would always look at when I needed, um, prospects, maybe for a current incentive or sales, as I wanted to build sales, I always had that list of people. And today you got so many people in your cell phone, really go through your cell phone and make a physical list. 
And um, let's see, place a, do place a dollar next to anyone who you feel would enjoy $500 extra month and invite them. I have not tried opportunity meeting online, but that's something that I will probably play with and, and see if we can launch something like that. And then discover the emotional why and high potential team or you know your team member and i guess that's what my emotional why is i put it in there with my purpose but it's really and like i said it was to get my keep my to get my husband home out of the chemical field okay next thing aha uh -huh. grow to win this was just on the call friday and i wanted to bring it like i said i wanted to bring it to you really quick because i know it's hard to jump on all these calls. you should be getting an invitation but the next call is on May 13th. I don't get an invite invite till right before, but I will make sure I share it as soon as I get it. So definitely save that date. Okay, next slide. Whoa. Alba Tavares was the guest speaker for the call on Friday. This was our this is our woman of enterprise. She's a gold executive honor society. I remember right after I received Woman of Enterprise in 2006. The trip, I'm pretty sure it was Tennessee, and I remember being out by a barn. They brought us out one of these things, and we played a lot of games, and they had a barbecue, and it was a lot of fun. I remember Alba and her upline coming up talking to me. They had just really started the business and asking me how, you know, how did they climb? And let me tell you, they, take, they, they took off. You can see by her numbers, the Spanish women – just really take off with this. When Alba came to the U.S., she was a nurse in her, uh, where she was from, I don't quite remember. But, uh, and when she came here, when they, and I have a friend that was a dentist in another country, when they come here, they, they lose those credentials. They have to start over. And the department, I think she said she was in an oncology department. It was so heartbreaking because she was losing a lot of patients. And somebody offered her the Avon opportunity in 2001. And look where she's at now. Um, 1,300 representatives in her first three generations with 26 average appointments and her average unit sales are 200,000 a campaign. You know what kind of check she's bringing home? That's about 10,000 a campaign, 20,000 a month. I want a piece of that. That's what you get when you go to Gold Ambassador. But she's an amazing woman. You can see here by her picture. She was so honored, so touched. Now you get to bring your children. They do fly your children in. You know, there's one representative a year that earns this award. Uh, now you get to bring your children in for the day. Really nice. This is her team over here at the bottom with all the pink shirts. Well, that's actually her upline up here, but it's their team. They have 10 seniors. Well, it's at, okay, EULs and above on their team. This up at the top in the right-hand corner with uh, this van, that is an ambulance she bought. And it was, you know, it didn't have, because it had all the shelves they needed and had a middle. They made a table in the middle. And she takes this all over. It's business all over. And she can do appointments right there on the spot, right in her vehicle. Isn't that pretty cool? Great. I wanted to share that. Um, really quick on here. Let's see. What was it? These were just some of the numbers I wanted you to see. The uh, top 20 leaders in for campaign eight over campaign seven. We didn't make the list, but we'll get back there. Because when you have additions, you have to also subtract whatever removals are on your team. Okay. Bug guard, we covered a lot of this. You all know about this is the book. If you're placing your order this week, this is the book that I would order double or a lot of extras where you can just put them everywhere. People are going to notice the bug guard. I'm really thrilled over the cover. Thank goodness. Okay. Um, Avon Skin Sales on Bug Guard leverage the key brand Bug Guard to celebrate the start of summer. Summer is here. And, um, you know, they can order this in 12. I would definitely order it before because when somebody wants Bug Guard, they're going to want it right then. They're not going to want to wait. Then you have Gift for Dad. I don't know if you've looked at the new book. I have not seen this red one. But um, maybe we have the blue one here, too. Has anybody seen this red one? I don't remember seeing this. But maximize holiday earnings with giftable products for easy selling. I love the um, the new living catalog, but I haven't seen this one. Can't wait to really look at it. But you can get it in advanced packs, and if you're earning, this will go, okay, it says earnings in your campaign 12, what's new? So maybe that's why we haven't seen it. And then, okay, summer, there's the book again. Um, what is Bug Guard? This flyer on the right, you should have, this is in your demo book. 
you really, if you can take that out and laminate that, that way you always have this, never throw a demo book away. It's packed with information. But this is the kind of stuff you repost on Facebook and you will generate business. What is Bug Guard? And um, it tells you, it's DEET free. It's an alternative to DEET. Um, Avon's exclusive insect repellent are suitable for the entire family and use either this IR3535 or for keratin as an active ingredient to repel certain insects. An effective alternative to DEET. I'm not gonna read the rest. You can pull all this up. I don't want you to miss it though. And here's this with a whole spreadsheet. I'll see if I can email this to you. This tells you all the highlights about the bug guard. I'm um, not going to go over that. That's way too much. Uh, they did go over that our key President's Club banquets have start, or they're starting this week, and they will end at the end of May. I know, um, I believe, I believe, Gina, y'all, it is yours with mine. Uh, mine is May 26th, or is yours the 24th? No, I think it is. The, yes, it's the 26th. Okay, good. I was wondering how they would do remote district, but great. I thought I love getting to see everybody. Um, that way I can put my request in. But um, in Web TV, there's going to be another. Well, okay, you got your 130th anniversary tour. I'm going to be going to the one in Houston. If somebody wants to come along with me, and I just jumped right off the slide. And um, Web TV has another episode coming out on April 29th for campaign 12 and 13. And you have Mother's Day, which is like May 8th. It's two weeks from today. Grow to Win Call, which I told you earlier, is on May 13th. Um, Memorial Day is May 30th. And then Father's Day, don't forget Father's Day. And let's see what else is at the bottom. You know all that. This is some of the clothes. And most of you have seen all the spread of clothes. I just wish they had some kind of little sleeves on this, but really cute stuff where you can mix and match and really um, bundle sell. And um, more about the what's new. I don't know if you've seen the what's new for 14. It is packed with sample specials. This is what you want to promote to your downline because this is the best way to get samples when you can get such a good variety. Um, not sure if you've seen, you probably have not seen this, that we're gonna, if we're coming out with one of those little clean machines. I don't have the right name, but and there's gonna be a whole line of um, cleansers. I guess I would think it's a new, but I'm thinking it's more of a milder, and it's for all skin types. And you can get the whole bundle for 37.36. So get excited and get ready for your what's new. Third, it's got to be. It says in. It's an extra special offer in the what's new for 15. Okay. Congratulations. If you achieved the 130th anniversary bracelet, 51,594 achievers. Did anybody receive this bracelet on the call? Because if you did, we, you deserve a round of applause. I did. I did. Who, who's I, Julia? And who else? Sally. Sally. Ooh, ooh, and Julia. Hey, anybody else? I did. I did. So proud of you. Awesome job. Great, great, great job. That's exciting. Woohoo. Okay. Um, this coming Tuesday, there's a social the apps should be up. You should be able to um, get into, you know, because web office has been down for what, two weeks? But it should be up come Tuesday. It's going to be easier than ever to engage your customers. You'll be able to streamline and put the app on your phone. Streamline for easy use anywhere, anytime from your mobile or desktop. The new mobile app lets you share on the go, including text messages and um, more fresh content every campaign. Spanish will also be available. So it looks really pretty. Can't wait to see what it comes up Tuesday. More pictures of just um more on the app, get, uh, get push notification and track your activity. I heard Harold knows how to do a lot of this. I know how, who I'm going to be calling this week, but just wanted to share that with you. Uh, more on Time to Share Social Media Center, where you'll be able to do so much in here. Um, check out the latest from Avon on my e-store. We're going to have posts. You're going to have video, how to become a representative. Can't wait to get it all. And you can customize it. You may want to take a picture of this on the right. It tells you, oh, I think I did text it out. 
It tells you the codes for your e-rep customers. So if you're posting something on Facebook, you want to make sure you put the codes. And you want to make sure you put that it expires. This offer expires by the date that it expires. So hopefully you got that. Okay, here we go. Capella University is offering scholarships and grants and discounts on um, if you're interested in going to school, going back to college to get your next degree or, you know, just maybe getting a degree. So if you're interested, I'm sure this information should be coming out pretty quick in an email. Um, let's see. This was more in building the sale. Oh, here's a phone number at the bottom if you want to write that down and you can. I bet if you just go to capellauniversity.com, you'll be able to pull it up also. I'll see you. Hopefully you got that. Grow to win call. A hundred representatives received gifts last time. So when you do show up on the call, this, this last Friday, a hundred representatives will receive the attractions, lotion, and shower gel. Okay. Save the dates. Great. Okay, there's a call tomorrow night, and I believe it's at 8 o'clock. Get to go, leader, and dinner buzz. You should be able to find this. It's, you know what? I don't know if it's still under Avon University, under the calendar. I will look after the call. If somebody knows, please jump in. Um, I remember last month we weren't we couldn't see it on the calendar. You could, but we couldn't. We could only see the dinner buzz call. But... Um, what's her name? Jer Tammy Jernigan posted the link on uh, AU a a L Academy. So I'm going to look for it this time. Good. And I'll let you know if I find yeah, it. Let me know. That way I can share it with everybody. I want to make sure they get it. Thank you. The, and that's more on the dates of um, May 11th is Houston. And if anybody wants to come, just let me know. If you're able to go to one, you definitely want to go. You're going to get gifts. Margaret's going to be there. It's going to be just a lot of fun things. Lead with purpose, live with, live our values, and the earnings will follow. Sell the products and continue to build your customer base always. Personally recruit. I was, I was very good at turning a lot of my customers over. And as you learn this, you will too yourself. You can turn a lot of your customers over to share by just sharing the Avon opportunity. Train and mentor your team members, especially new representatives. I definitely will send that list out. That's a great uh, place to, uh, you know, just to check off to make sure we've covered everything. Identify and develop your new leaders. Anyone on your team that is selling 200 or more a campaign, those are the ones you want to, especially right now, because the bonuses are just too good. They really are great bonuses right now. And recognize your team members for their achievement. Um, leverage the 40% guarantee earnings. Um, Tammy Jernigan did tell me we are in the top five in all of the U.S. of having a hundred dollar order for their first order. So congratulations, ladies, because that is because of your efforts and your work. I'm so proud of that. Um, activation on campaign 12, Buzz. We've covered a lot about Bug God. Let's see, Journey to Go, Utilize. I engage um, and continue driving our team so hopefully we can get some more people to rep fest. But I need to be buying those tickets pretty soon. So if anybody goes, I need to know. I'm kind of holding off because I want to be able to get us, our tickets all in the same row. Okay. I'm almost done. Um, I have been asked, I had mentioned that to you, I've been asked to be the guest speaker on the Grow to Call, um, the Grow to Win Call on May 13th. I need your help. It's because of your hard work that I get to do this. This come, the email, and I shared it at the bottom. Your team is doing so well with traditional recruiting and getting people to $100 order. You rank in the top five. That's just thrilling. Um, that is so exciting to see. And, you know, share with me if anybody has my, I mean, I know y'all have shared a lot. If there's something special you're doing, because, because of you, we're on this chart. And uh, first, give yourself a round of applause and a yoo-hoo and pat yourself on the back. Great job. Now, openly share what you know. So I want to unmute. I got one more slide. Everybody, don't need to mute myself, though. Um, participants, unmute. Oh, there we go. I'm successful at it. Woohoo! Thank you so much for investing your time. Does anybody want to add anything? Or 
Well, thank you um, so much. Mother's Day is the next call in two weeks. I will pre-record it. Hopefully, I'll get it done before. Yeah, I should get it done by Mother's Day. Um, that way, there will be no call. You'll have a break, but you'll have a recording, please. And I am posting that. You should have, everybody should have got the email. But, um, you know, with all the calls on there, that way you can share with, with all your team members. Anybody have anything to add besides thank you? And, uh, oh, there's everybody. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Let's see. Stop up there. I can see the recording.